Oh, good morning. How is everyone doing today? I hope everyone's doing well. I thought I'd come on and share with you all uh, some products from Amicole and Danessa that I'm in love with. So my face uh, has been prepped with the Black Girl Sunscreen. Uh, I use the Black Girl Sunscreen a lot and I love it. This was the limited edition Little Mermaid packaging that they had. So uh, Black Girl Sunscreen is the sunscreen that I am wearing. Hello, Alicia. Hi, Kat. How are you all doing? Hello from Canada. Oh, that's so amazing. I hope to be back there visiting soon. Uh, I'm going to start with the Ami Cole, uh Skin Enhancing Foundation Stick. Uh, this stick, I wear the shade 240. I really enjoy it. Um, and I don't think I've gone live with it for a while. So I thought I'd use it today. Hi, Keisha. How are you? Good morning. So that is, again, the Ami Cole Foundation Stick. And I'm going to blend it out using the My Yummy Base Large Angle from the Danessa Myrix and My Kitco collaboration. Yes, happy Monday to you as well. You all see how this uh, foundation blends. Hello, Beauty, by, uh, Beauty Body Pearl. How are you? Thanks for joining. It's such a pretty foundation, you all. If you've not tried it, uh, I suggest that or recommend that you do try it if you're in the market for a foundation stick. But you can see how well it blends out. And the match is right on. And I'm just gonna put a little bit more um, here. I didn't put any under my neck. And it's so important that um, you make sure to blend your product uh, down the neck as well. And you have this stick, but you're not sure about the shade that you have. I have shade 240. Which shade do you have? The brand is very good also about helping you choose a shade. So if you're not sure about the shade that you have, I would definitely DM them a, a, a photo of yourself and they can help you match. For concealer, I'm going to use Danessa's Yummy Skin Lift and Flex Concealer. This is the shade number 13. I've really been enjoying this shade. Um, and I've not powdered it since I've been wearing it. So today we're going to try powdering it. Um, it's really good. Uh, it feels really good on the skin. It melts into the skin very nicely. Um, and I really enjoy it. And you know what? I've not tried using concealer in these areas. I see people do that sometimes. So let's see what that looks like uh, for me. Uh, let's just put some here too. And I believe they put it here as well. So let's blend that out. And to blend it out, I'm going to use the... I pulled out all the My Kitco brushes, so I'm going to use, to blend this out now, the My Yummy Base Flat. And this is what that one looks like. Okay, do that and let me know what you think. You all see how pouncing that product in, it just blends so nicely and it's effortless. Um, I really, like I said... I've been wearing this now for about, two, I want to say two weeks I've had it now, um, and I've never powdered it. So today, I'm going to try powdering it. Hey, Pam, how are you? Good to see you. Today, we're using Ami Cole and Danessa Myrick's Beauty. Right now, I'm just blending out Danessa's concealer in the shade 13. 
and I'm blending it out using the Yummy Base Flat from her My Kitco and Danessa Myrick's collaboration. Hey, Lori. Hey, girl. Hey, how are you? Yes, Pam, there was the collab. Uh, the brushes are still available. You can get them on Danessa's site. This set I have is called the Starter Set, and it retails for $175. Um, I have uh, it linked on my uh, co uh, community page on my YouTube channel, um, and I believe I have a code there too. You could still you could see if it still works. Um, if it does, you will save 20%. But this set comes with 10 brushes. I'll hold them up really quick for you. So these are all the brushes that it comes with. And these are synthetic uh, brushes, but the handles are wooden handles. Okay, so we blended out the concealer. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the uh, Danessa Myricks Balm Contour. I have the shape Deep 2. And let me show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like. And we're going to use this to uh, contour. Really, I'm going to use it as more of a bronzing uh, agent. So I'm going to take the same. Actually, I'm not going to take that. I'm going to take the My Yummy Shaper, the large angle brush. And I'm going to go right into the product. And I'm going to swipe here and blend it up. It's a really pretty product, this balm contour. And then I'm going to go over it later, a little later, with the uh, Groundwork Defining Neutrals palette. I'm going to use the shade Harvest, and I'm going to use that as a powder, uh, the Harvest Shape and Fix powder. I'm going to set this cream with that. But this is with balm contour, and this is without with without so you can definitely see that it definitely warms the skin and how easily it blends how's everyone doing i hope everyone's doing well I really enjoy this product. It blends so easily and it gives just the right amount of warmth to the skin. And you see how that brush blends it so easily? All right, I'm gonna take some down my jawline just a touch. Really soft though. Okay, it's a little too yellow. Okay. So you might want to go up one or two shades. Um, I'll take a look at 310 online and see uh, which one I might suggest for you. You're doing well. So happy to be back in Canada. Even though it's kind of... Oh, I'm sorry, Kat. Are you back there for good or are you just visiting? Oh, beautiful. This is beautiful. Okay. And I'm also going to, for the sake of showing what this product can do, I'm going to um, contour the nose just a touch. Oh, yeah. I, um, I'm going to use the My Yummy Applicator uh, Small. For this task, um, yeah, I, d I have a box of makeup 
that I'm decluttering to my niece. I just haven't gotten it over to her yet. Um, but she's going to be very happy when she gets it. There's some uh, really good uh, Natasha Denona uh, palettes in there. And I'm just taking this along the sides of my nose, you all, and up into the orbital bone. I'm going to blend that out a little later when I do my eye look. Um, but let me just... Hello, Unicorn KP. Thank you for joining. Welcome. All right, I'm going to take it and blend it out here. And if it looks harsh, don't worry. I can blend it out, so I'm not worried about it at all. It blends really, really well. Um, yeah, but back to um, makeup decluttering. Yeah, I have so much and I don't get to use it all, right? So I don't want it to go to waste and she's a student. So I'm definitely happy to be able to help her out with, you know, giving her some makeup. So I hope that she enjoys it um, and I'm sure she will. And I'm not, t I'm taking this, uh, the yummy, Lord help me, yummy base and just blending it out of touch more, you guys. I didn't put any additional makeup on product on the brush. I just wanted to blend that out some more. But you do see the definition there. The next product I'm going to use, oh, uh, thank you. Is going to be the Groundworks Defining Neutrals. And like I said, I'm going to use the shade Harvest, uh, which is here. I'm going to use the Shape and Fix powder as the powder to set the bronzer. So I'm going to just pop it out of the palette. And let's see, I'm going to take the Yummy Airbrush, my Yummy Airbrush Large Tapered Brush, and go right into the Shape and Fix powder. and just touch it up here and just set the bomb contour that I laid down. And I like it because it doesn't change the tone of what I've already laid down. And for our eye look today, we're going to be using Blooming Romance. That's also a Danessa Myrick Groundwork palette. All right, I'm going to pop this uh, Shape and Fix powder back into the palette. And it's back in its home here. Okay, now we are going to move on. Um, and we'll do blush last, but I did want to powder the concealer. So I'm going to take out the Danessa Myricks Evolution Powder in the shade number three. And we're just going to take a little bit. You see it's in the well here. So I'm going to take just a little bit. And I'm going to take it onto my Yummy Targeted Fluff. And hi, Mary, how are you? And I'm just going to tap it in and you see how much powder that picked up. We don't need that much. So I'm going to just drag it around the well so I can take some of it off. And I'm going to go ahead and powder right on top of that concealer. And you could definitely use a puff if you're into puffs. I like using brushes. So that's why I'm using a brush. So definitely all about your preference. You love this brush? Thank you. And so you can see that the, con, uh, the powder isn't changing uh, the look at all, but you can tell that it's, set, it's setting it 
um, because it was more creamier to begin with. Let me put a little touch more powder here. Very pretty. Okay. I just uh, rubbed some powder on the areas in where I placed the concealer earlier. Okay, now we're gonna talk brows. So for eyebrows, I love the Ami Kole products. Um, I have been using them, God, I, I don't even know how long. Um, let's see. Oh, no, Keisha, okay. Um, so, Amicole brow products, they come in a duo. You can get, buy them individually as well. Uh, but if you use the code SUNSORE15 on Amicole's website, you'll, use, you'll uh, receive... 15% off site-wide. This is the brow gel, and this is the on-point precision brow pencil. So we're gonna first take the brow pencil, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brush my brows up first. Oh my God, I just realized I did not blend out the concealer on my forehead. Let me do <laughs> That's how you can tell that I don't usually uh, do that. That is so funny. Let me take this and blend this out. Oh my goodness, that is hilarious. I looked, I'm like, what is that on my face? And I did not blend that concealer. All right, there we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, now I'm going to take the brow pencil and I'm going to brush my brows up. And they are freshly threaded. Yes, I did forget. Thank God I, I just noticed it. Oh, my goodness. Embarrassing. See, that's how you can tell, you know, that I don't ever do that because I never put concealer in that area. Um, but I thought I'd try it today. So I'm going to show you all what the point on the pencil looks like, and then I'm going to bring it down some because I don't want it to. Um, I don't want it to break. So this is the shade 1B. And like I said, it is a retractable pencil, as you can see. And I, the only thing I do is fill in where the brow is sparse. And then if I want more definition, I can go back and define it even more. So um, you saw that area was a little sparse. And I'm just taking it and I'm just going to bring it down here. Let's see. Oh, no, uh-uh, no, it wasn't. That's so funny. It was kind of a look without the concealer blended. That's so funny. Don't let me go out like that, cat. Don't let me do it. And you can see the pencil just glides, really. So I'm going to um, take it here and deepen this a little bit. And we're going to take the brush and brush them up. And then at the end, uh, once I finish this brow, we'll take the brow gel. And that'll be the final step to laying them down. All right, here we go. And this brow tail never grows uh, as much as this one does. So I always have to uh, put hair strokes here. So we're gonna just do some hair strokes. But this pencil makes it very easy to do that. And that area there is sparse, so we're gonna fill that in. Do you all use pencil for your brows or powder? I'm interested. Or do you fill your brows in at all? Let me know. 
And then let me know if you all have a preference of grooming. Do you pluck? Do you... Um, I'm sorry. Do you pluck? Do you thread or wax your brow? Or do you leave them alone entirely? And I'm just going to leave it just like that. Nice and natural. And then we're going to take this brow gel. We're going to take it through the brow here. Um, and I'm going to use this brush has two sides. So I'm going to use the flat side first. And then I'm going to use this brush side here to fluff. So I'm going to take the flat side. to lay the product down. You leave, Kat says she leaves hers alone, um, but she does enough to them throughout the day. And Keisha says that she uses brow pencils and gels. Ooh, brow gel. Oh, do you use the Anastasia one? I'm liking this concealer powder, you guys. It looks pretty. All right. You use brow gels, but you don't groom them. Okay, I understand. Um, oh, you guys, on my lips right now, I have the Remedy for Dry Lips. I've been using this for about two weeks now, um, and I'm really enjoying it. It is um, basically a, a multi-product impact. It, I'm sorry, it delivers a multi-product product impact in a single non-irritating targeted treatment, helping to instantly hydrate um, and repair dry cracked lips. So my lips aren't cracked, but they are dry. So um, I have been really enjoying this. This was gifted to me um, and I'll link it in the stories after the live is over. Uh, Lori says she uses a pencil most of the time and wax. Okay. And Keisha says, uh, she uses the products from Benefit, Sephora, and Tarte. Okay, that's good to know. And hey, Alicia. Alicia says she has no idea how to do her brows, so she's in training. Well, welcome. And I do have a full brow tutorial uh, here uh, on my Instagram as well as on my YouTube channel uh, using these brow products. Uh, but you can take that same technique and use any products that you'd like. Um, I just so happen to love and use these. Um, let's see, what's next? Okay, so we're going to jump into our eye look now that the brows are done. And we're going to use Danessa's Blooming Romance Palette. That is this beauty here. And I'm going to use the shade Evermore. I don't think I've used that shade on its own, so I'm going to do a monochromatic look with it. And let me show you what it looks like. That's this shade here. So let's take a look and see what we think. I'm going to start with the My Yummy Applicator Soft. No, I'm sorry, not that. That's not the one I want to use to put it down. I want to use the My Yummy Applicator Small to put the product on the lid. Oh man, dry lips hurt. If, if you let them get dry, you know, they, yeah, they, they're not fun at all. So I'm gonna take the pomade onto the brush and I'm going to lay it down. Now, oh, this color looks so pretty. Um, I am going to top it with the Shape and Fix powder because, as you all may know, the Shape and Fix powder intensifies the shade once you top it, top the pomade with it. But look at that color, you all. How pretty is that? I'm putting more pomade down right now, and then we're going to go in with the Shape and Fix powder. Have you all used this palette yet? How many of you have it? Let me know in the chat. Oh, I love it. Oh, 
Oh, yours are dry and cracked and you hate it. Oh, man. I One time I had uh, used a lip scrub and I damaged my lips so bad that they hurt so bad, you guys. Um, and for almost, I think, two months, I had to like slug, you know, like put Vaseline on during the day. But at night, I layered it on and I just slept with it on my lips. And in the middle of the night, I'd wake up and put more on. You love this palette? I'm so glad. Oh no, you're allergic to something in it? I'm sorry to hear that. Oh no, cat, it's still shipping. You should definitely reach out to them for a refund then. All right, so I placed it down on the lids. I'm gonna take it on the lower lash line as well. So I'm gonna use the My Yummy Targeted Fluff brush to do that. And that's this brush here. And I'm gonna take it right under the lower lash line. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I love wearing shadow on my lower lash line ever since I found the magic of using a brush to put it there. I've been doing it. I've really enjoyed it. And and while we're here, I don't know if you guys know, but uh Ulta's last that if you have the coupon, today is the last day to use that Ulta coupon. I will be using mine to order sunscreen. I'm gonna be ordering some black girl sunscreen. Hey Marie, how are you? Um, yeah, I need some more black girl sunscreen because I didn't realize that I was almost out of mines. So I'm gonna get the spray version, which is the, the kids version is the one I like. I'm gonna get, it's SPF 50. And uh, this heat in Sacramento is ugly right now. So I definitely am gonna need to get more. All right, there we go. Oh no, I, I understand. I definitely understand that Keisha. All right, so now we're gonna go in with the powders. Um, you set an alert to order, make your order today. Yes, today's the last day, so don't let it end on you. Um, okay, let's go in with the Shape and Fix powder. Um, and to do that, I'm going to take the My Yummy Applicator Soft, which is this brush here. And I'm going to go right into the Shape and Fix powder. Same shade, Evermore. and it's going to intensify. So just watch how that intensifies that color and you can almost see it immediately. You see the difference between the two? And I'm literally just placing that on the lid And I'm gonna take that same Shape and Fix powder on the same brush and go right underneath that lower lash line to intensify the color that I placed there. And that eye look is complete. Do the lower lash line here. And go on the lids on this side. And you can see that I'm targeting the lid. I didn't put it over my full lid. I have hooded eyes. Um, and so I, usually I take the color all the way up, but today I think I'm gonna just leave it here. You guys let me know what you think. I'm gonna go back into defining neutrals groundwork and I'm gonna place uh, the brown shade um, bark. I'm gonna use that uh, in the inner corners and pull it into the crease.
to give the eye a little bit more uh, dimension here. So this is the shade Bark right here. Simple and cute. That's what I'm going for. Thank you, Lori. All right, let's take a look. Which one is this? Okay, this is my Yummy Applicator Soft is the one I want. Okay, that's this one again. And I wish I would have been able to pick up, and this is a shade Bark, um, more of the eye brushes. I wish there would have been uh, like a crease brush in this starter set, but there's not. But you can make them work. So that's what I'm using this for, the My Yummy Applicator Soft. And I'm just pulling it over here. And then you see the difference? It makes such a difference. Going right into that area here. And you could always bump the look up or make you know the look from day to evening by using a shimmer. Um, I'm not gonna do that right now, but I could definitely do that if I wanted to. And the perfect shimmers that I would use from Lightwork 5 would definitely amp the look up just a touch. Um, but we're going for monochromatic matte, and that's what we have going on here. I'm going to take the Bloomy Romance palette again, you guys, and we're going to use it for blush. I was going to actually use the um, Dewy Lip and Cheek, but I think, actually, you know what? Why don't we do that? I'm going to use the Dewy Lip and Cheek palette. Uh, this is the Do It Flirty version. And I think with this eye look, mmm. Um, I think I'll use this pink shade. It's called XOXO. And to apply it, we're going to use the My Yummy Base Large Angle. And you can see that it fits right in there. It has no issue. And I just did one tap. So we're going to put it right here because we know where I like my blush. And I'm not going to need to pick up any more of the product. And let's, we're going to blend it out. We're just going to stipple. And just look at that color, you all. It's so pretty. It reminds me of the uh, color It Girl in the Yummy, uh, yummy Skin Blurring Balm Flushed, which I don't own, uh, but it's a pretty pink color. Aren't her blushes gorgeous? They really are, and they pop on everyone's skin tone which is another reason I love her brand. Wow, how pretty of that. And I love it because it's a dewy lip and cheek. So you know the face was not as dewy prior to applying the product, but now it has a dew and a glow to it. And I just love it so much. All right. Have you all used this palette before? To finish off the look, we're going to go in with some mascara. This is the Amicole Lash Lengthening Mascara. You all, this is uh -oh, one of my favorite mascaras. And um, it is available at Sephora as well as... Um, on Amicole's website directly. I'm gonna just swirl it here, pick it up. We're gonna go right onto the lashes with it. Today, I'm not going to use a base, um, but if you have um, lash base, it works well with uh, lash base as well. But you see the difference? I really enjoy this mascara. I have another tube already in my drawer uh, for when this one goes out. Um, I love mascara, uh, period. So uh, I use them a lot. It's time for 50 coats of mascara. <laughs> 
I do at least three. At least three. Right, let me show you all. Once I'm done with this, I will go face on so you all can see the difference that it makes. All right. So you see this eye without, this eye with. What do we think? Yeah, I am totally team mascara. I love mascara. I'm so happy to see that you all were able to pop in. Each <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Each coat is about 15 to 20 swipes, right, period. I really like this brush because I can get right under my, you know, right to the root. Ooh, sometimes I get my eye though. Oh, Kat says this is a nice, simple mascara for the no makeup makeup girlies. No excessive wear. Yeah, I agree. Um, and I do wear this mascara on days when I'm not even wearing makeup. Like uh, the other day, I just did sunscreen. Um, and I threw on some mascara and a lip gloss. So I have those days, especially in the Sacramento weather. Um Today it's going to be, I think, 119 or something. No, not 119. I think 109 today. I'm not sure. It's going to be over 100, though. And when I woke up this morning, it was 80 degrees in my bedroom. So I'm definitely staying hydrated. Oh, you did get a notification, Alicia? I'm glad. I'm glad to see that they're going out. It is. I agree. Way too warm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's too hot. Yesterday, we went to San Francisco. It was such a beautiful day. I'll be sharing a, a few photos from yesterday. No, you can't. Not comfortably. So let's take a look at the lashes. Yeah, I think they look good. So that's the look, you guys. Do you guys have any questions for me? Um, let me know in the chat. Um, and we're going to keep the lip. The lip is the lip. It, it again, is the remedy for dry lips. Um, I mean, I could put, let's see, let me think. You know what? I don't usually use the groundwork for lips because it's not my um, preference. But for the sake of showing you how versatile this palette is, I'll go ahead and apply uh, the same shade to my lips. So I'm going to use the My Yummy Applicator Small. And I'm going to leave this on, but I'm going to go ahead and take Evermore's Pomade. right onto the lip. Just for a small touch of color. So that is the pomade. And I only did one swipe. I, I don't need to intensify it. Um, Keisha says she doesn't like it above 85. Uh, b b b wait, above 85? Yeah, I, I agree. 
Alicia says she loves uh, 50 to 70 degree weather. Oh my goodness. Um, yesterday in San Francisco, I think it was like 65 or something like that. It was, uh, it was awesome. It was a beautiful day out there. Um, there were a lot of families out. Um, we were able to stop by the Disney Museum. Um, and we just walked around the gallery on the lower floor. That's pretty on my lips. Thank you. Um, we walked around on the lower floor, um, which is called the gallery. And then we went to the Disney, the, the store within um, the museum. And they have the uh, Oscars uh, set up down there. And so I was able to get a picture of those. So I'll post a picture of those. I thought those were cool. I've never seen one in person before, uh, but they look really cool. Oh yeah, it was such nice weather. Well, um, so uh, Kat, today I, I used all Danessa Myrex and Amicole today. Um, I wanted to uh, give some love to those brands. And then I, on my lips though, I used this uh, Remedy for Dry Lips. Uh, it is a balm treatment that they sent to me. They gifted it to me. So I thought I'd try it live with you all. Um, I have been using it for about two weeks and I enjoy it. Um, so, um, but I love this look. So let's go through a breakdown of what we use today, just in case you're coming in at the end. So, uh, for sunscreen today, I use my black girl sunscreen for my foundation. I use my Amicole skin enhancing stick in the shade 240. My concealer is the yummy skin Lift and Flex Concealer in the shade 13. Uh, for uh, powdering under my eye, I use the Danessa Myrix Evolution Powder shade number three. Uh, contour today, I used it for bronzing, is the Balm Contour uh, by Danessa Myrix Beauty. I used the shade deep number two. And then, to set it, I used the Groundworks Defining Neutrals palette, and I used the shade Harvest. Um, I took um, the Groundworks Defining um, Groundworks Booming Romance palette in the shade Evermore on the eyes and the lips. For my cheeks, I used the Dewy Lip and Cheek palette in the sh and Do It Flirty. The shade is XOXO, <coughs> excuse me, XOXO, which is this pink shade here on the cheeks. Eyebrows are Amicole, the Brow Duo, uh, the Ultra Flex Brow Gel, and the On Point Precision Brow Pencil. <coughs> hey, Michelle, how are you? Then um, for mascara, I used the Amicole Lash Lengthening Mascara right here. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Mm. And um, let me think, what else did I do? I think that's it. Oh, on the lips is the uh, Remedy for Dry Lips. And I'll be posting in stories about uh, this with a link to the product. Um, also, just a reminder that Ulta, uh, the sale is ending tonight. The, cu the coupon is ending tonight. Um, and so I did post about that in stories today. Uh, there's tons of sales going on, you guys, right now. Beauty and you know, really everything. So if there's anything in specifics that you guys are looking for, please don't hesitate to DM me to ask for a link. I, hi I highly, highly um, appreciate you guys' support in that arena. Um, and let's see, the lips need, listen, the need, yes, and I'm almost out of it. So I definitely need to reach out to them to see about getting another one, um, either even if I have to purchase it. I, I can't even remember how much it costs. So, um, But uh, I've been using it and I, I believe that I would repurchase it. You can use it day or evening. Um, 
And I mean, it feels good um, on the lips. Uh, so, and my lips are hydrated. They've not had any issues with it at all. Um, and then to apply all these products, of course, I use the Vanessa Myricks My Kitco Collaboration uh, My Yummy Skin. No, it's not called that. My Yummy Brush, sorry, collection. Uh, it comes with 10 brushes. Um, and this is the starter edition. Um, they are linked, but I do not have an affiliate link. So, uh, but please do check them out. Uh, they're very lovely. They are synthetic brushes as well. Uh, you all let me know in the chat if there's anything else you all would like to talk about. Um, if not, I'll exit and uh, I will save the live. So if you're catching the replay, thank you so much for doing so. Um, I really appreciate you taking your time out to come and watch the replay. For all of you that are here with me now, I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming on and checking me out. If you've enjoyed today's content, please don't hesitate to share it. Please do give it a like. Please do leave some comments. Um, and I just want to say thank you all so much once again. You want a pose? Oh, yes. Okay. Sorry. I did not do that. Okay. So let's see. Let's do something simple. All right. Oh, let's see. Kat says, pl oh, plug my other socials. Thank you, Kat. You can also catch me on um, the Clock app. I'm there uh, at Enamored Beauty and over on YouTube at Enamored Beauty. And I would love to have you all join me there as well. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say See you later. Uh, I will still be live on tomorrow. I just wanted to come and spend some time with you all on today. So tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, please do join me right here on Instagram. Have a great one. Bye.